um, this is part of a laboratory that when I was uh, 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 people were getting into computer um, here is um, this is uh, this is uh, Eve this this is Adam and then as soon as they came they landed to LA they they tuned in, tuned into computer culture and then they got stuck in the library tarpet <laughs> and then and then uh, they called um, Tarzan and the Tarzan <laughs> Uh, Ta Tarzan's message said, "I'm I'm not home, not, not uh, available. Uh, why don't you you know call Zane?" So he sent Zane to rescue Adam and Eve. This is this is Zane. And then, and then meantime, I was also uh, working on a clergy sex abuse issue. So it's a sort of the integrated imagery that okay. Computer is coming into this uh, culture, and then I'm dealing with the uh, clergy sex issue at the same time. And the clergy sex issue uh, came came along while uh, I was watching uh, uh, Bill Clinton's and Monica Lewinsky's uh, impeachment trial. You know, I thought, well, you know, I'm coming from a '60s culture. And then how come, you know, that uh, Monica Lewinsky and uh, Bill Clinton's uh, issue is so big deal? So, so um, let's see. So uh, eventually um, I came across, I started doing confessional series 1990. So that was a huge sort of like a shift in, in my vocabulary. Uh, when I wanted to talk about clergy sex abuse issue, uh, I felt uh, watercolor doesn't seem to give me right sort of like a, a texture. So I switched to oil painting. And then this is also uh, a part of an uh, impeachment trial inspired painting called uh, uh, Night Vision Inquisition. And in, in the States, I felt like, all right, everybody is happy in this country. But actually, no. When, it, when you pay attention to you know, a lot of things happening uh, socially or culturally, and uh, uh, Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky scandal is like, it's a big circus. And so I said, well, I got to really document this, you know, historical event. And eventually, it turned out to be uh, Monica Lewinsky is dancing with Bill Clinton. This is Monica, and this is Bill Clinton. And then here's, uh, here's a Bill Clinton, caught by media people. And then this, this is for, supposed to be Kenneth Starr. And actually, I met Kenneth Starr in Hawaii. And the ACLU people invited Kenneth Starr. And uh, Masami, you should meet Kenneth Starr. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so I painted this one, right? And so I brought this brochure uh, with me. And then I met him. I was introduced to uh, Kenneth Starr, who actually is a, he's teaching at the law in Pepperdine University. And then, so I said, uh, Mr. Kenneth Starr, uh, I brought this brochure because I thought you might be interested in, you are in my painting. And she said, he said, um, oh yeah, I, I'd like to see it. So I said, uh, okay. <laughs> and I, I was very nervous, you know. I mean, if I show this painting, I might be put in jail. And so, so I opened it up and, and showed it to him, and he said, oh. His face is lit up. I said, 
oh, that's a good sign. And then she said, extraordinary. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, he, he was standing with his wife, and then he was saying, this is extraordinary, isn't it? And then his wife said, yeah. <laughs> so actually, I was, I was never put in jail. <laughs> Anyway, so that's a you know personal history or personal um, uh, story. But then another story came up after I showed this painting to one of my uh, bank tellers at the Hawaiian Bank. Oh no, the first Hawaiian Bank. He said, "Can I see your painting? You know, you you are, are talking you are talking about Monica Lewinsky and the blue dress." And so I want to see. So I invited him to my studio. And he said, you know, I was in the same class at Monica. And that's why I know about this blue dress. In fact, when Monica Lewinsky came to Hawaii for her uh, friend's wedding, she bought that blue dress at, uh, at Liberty House, if I'm not mistaken. I said, really? <laughs> so actually, I mean, nobody knew about this story. Even media didn't, didn't know about this. But, you know, uh, I, I, I believe that this is a real story. So, you know, it been a real story and then uh, a cultural, political story is going at the same time, but I quite often integrate. Um, this is uh, about, about Bert, Berka Inquisition, and I, when I was working on this composition, uh, Afghanistan uh, war was going on, and uh, I have heard so many Berka women were killed and then raped, and uh, uh, some you know, Afghan soldiers uh, came, uh, Al Qaeda soldiers came to uh, help. Uh, uh, Burke woman, but then they turn out to be friendly first, but then eventually they, uh, you know, uh, abused all women, and so the women who became pregnant started uh, hanging themselves, you know, committing suicide. So that that's a story that it inspired, as if you know, all women in Afghanistan at that time were uh, con dealt or as if they were like a chicken. So that's what this image, uh, how it came out. And uh, since I, I'm, you know, I'm uh, in exploring or investigating uh, sexuality and the clergy sex abuse issue in Catholic Church, uh, I thought I should go back to see how, you know, uh, birth of Venus might look like, and so this image came out. And then, in fact, you know, I uh, uh, painted Linda and myself, and the, looking looking at the uh, human sexuality in the Catholic Church, the sex abuse issue at the same time. And and the meantime, also uh, right after nine nine one one, actually we were in London, and then we are having lunch. And, and then 911 happened and just right in front of us uh, from a TV. And we couldn't believe it. Really? This is real? And, and after um, 10 days or 12 days, we came back through New York. And that time we visited uh, 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 Met, uh, Met, uh, uh, Met, Metropolitan Museum has an uh, ancient uh, church, uh, I, I forgot the name, but cloister, oh, yeah, cloister, that's where we visited, and then, so the imagery is pretty much, you know, indicating uh, 911, at the, you can see the mess in New York, in the back, and this Liberty, uh, Liberty, yeah, so, so, so that all inspiration sort of integrated around that time. And then when we visited uh, uh, Zero, 
so 911, what do you call it? The place where the whole Grand Zero, or Grand Zero. And we visited there, and it's still smoking, smoldering, and everything. And then uh, also, at the same time, we went to uh, the uh, New York Harbor, and the, I mean, all um, ships are uh, loading the ruined structure into a boat. So uh, I had a sort of a vivid memory of that. And anyway, I, I wanted to just uh, document that particular 911 into this composition. And um, so uh, this is a time when I was uh, uh, working or thinking about cloning human. Uh, so cloning Eve, no, cloning Geisha. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, I think this uh, cloning Eve is a title. And um, that, that particular time is that everybody's, you know, investigating what cloning human being means. And uh, still, uh, I have a lot of way uh, to say about human uh, sexuality and the Catholic Church clergy sex abuse issue. And um, the, the cloisters slash Venus and uh, Pope's workout uh, Yeah, so Venus is an empowered woman who, who can really uh, ins assert her in independence. And then Geisha said, yeah, I've c I came to support your vision. And uh, why don't we, you know, work with the octopus? Sort of like, uh, sort of like a Japanese convention image. Oh, okay. Um, I actually uh, did a lot of uh, large triptych painting. Uh, I, I say all together I produced uh, 10 large triptychs. And Adam and the David uh, gold leaf uh, frame team was so amazingly uh, helpful and support. So. Actually, I'm so grateful, again, <laughs> to you. <laughs> and um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, one one thing that I like to also add to this, you know, uh, narrative, contemporary narrative work is that. Uh, uh, when I started a uh, uh, clergy sex abuse issue, I also wanted to bring a history of so many people who were involved in this particular theme, uh, historical, because Catholic Church uh, institution has been involved in a clergy sex issue since maybe 2,000 years ago. And still, they are dealing with it today. And uh, uh, This, this one is called a uh, Cloister Series. No, no, the Last Supper Series. Oh, the Last Supper inver Inversion of the Sacred. And um, that's, that's Inversion too. I mean, my working machine. The, I bought it at uh, Sears uh, Sales. Uh, I said, oh, I have a neck problem, so I should use and I tried to stretch my neck and shoulder. And I, I wasn't sure it was working. So anyway, I better really do something with it. And I said, ah, oh, in.
Hello. Is that working? Oh, wow. Working. Okay. So, uh, actually, if I go, okay. All right. So, um, uh, here, my friend, my friend said, Masami, you were working on the uh, uh, clergy sex abuse issue series. So why don't I send you a photograph? And then, so she sent me a photograph, and then I couldn't believe. You know, she and uh, she, her, her friend, Aaron Hawk, Aaron Hawks, is an amazing photographer who, who, who took a photograph of her, and then she sent it to me. So I, I was, uh, it, it was all perfect for me to I include her own, you know, photograph, and then just it integrate. It was integrated into the composition as if she's uh, uh, she's controlling the uh, um, uh, seminarian who is struggling with his own sexuality that he he doesn't know how to even deal with this Komodo dragon that. Symbolic, symbolically uh, uh, expressing his sort of desire that he cannot even control. And actually, if you are, if you are actually uh, are familiar with the Catholic Church uh, tradition, seminarians are the ones who grow up to be confessors. And the seminarians, as you, you would know, that they are treated in the a Catholic Church institution as if they are a totally different breed. They, they are taken care of, you know, they don't have to do cooking or, or cleaning or anything. Every, everything is sort of served for them, and then all these services are done by nuns. And so these are the uh, seminarians who, who actually are uh, always thinking about women or, or men, wh whichever works, you know, in their mind. So, and the plus, the, the issue is that they wouldn't, they, they have not have an actual relationship with the people, but only theoretically they, they think they know a woman or a girl or men. And these are the people who become eventually confessors. So, it is really not easy for them to even, con you know, control themselves when they become um, the communicator to uh, upper uh, soul, and then, then they can take advantage of penitence. So I thought that's that's pretty interesting, especially Catholic Church uh, teaches, you know, celibacy, and I was wondering how, you know, celibacy and the seminarian and the confessors, how they all relate each other, is that sort of question I had. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure you, you know a lot about Catholic religion and institution. I'm, I'm not really a religious person at all. I mean, I, the only time that I had a connection with uh, uh, th uh, theology was when I was at university in Japan. And then I had to take two years of uh, theology, but then I didn't understand what that means. I, mean, I totally forgot all of them. So um, uh, let me see. I should move on. So this is another uh, large painting, and uh, in this composition. I was uh, trying to sort of include or integrate a ballet culture that I never understood when I, I was here. I had lived in this country for so many years, but I, I always thought ballet, ballet is uh, you know, something that very special uh, and an elite kind of culture. But then the more uh, Eve got into ballet uh, culture, I said, wow, actually, you know, it's almost like, you know, ancient, all time, my mother, when she was growing up as a girl, all her friends, everybody, 
had to take a koto, learning how to play a 13 strings uh, koto instrument. And I feel like, oh, it's sort of equivalent. Ballet in this country is like e e equivalent to, you know, girls training sort of like a, a phase that I was not really aware of. So I, in this composition, I wanted to include that, you know, okay, this is the awareness that I just discovered. Um, uh, the composition is called the, the Last Supper slash Eve and the Giant Squid Hunters. And uh, in this composition, Eve is in the painting as a uh, maybe teenager ballerina. <laughs> She's smiling. Anyway, so it's a so imagination that I said, wow, you know, I mean, when she grows up, I, mean, I wonder if she's going to really become a ballerina or, or what she would like to do. But okay, let's say, well, she, if she wanted, she can be like this and that. And um, 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 the Cloister's Last Supper slash Madonna and the Geisha is uh, definitely, I want to say to Catholic Church that Masami is talking about the same-sex same -sex marriage, no, no other way. Okay, if you are looking at the same-sex marriage, what it is, what it means is that it's just not the title. I mean, okay, gay rights, I, I, as far as I'm, I, I'm thinking it's like a label, but underneath is actually what it means like a human right and equality. And if you can not understand that, you would not never understand what the gay rights and same-sex marriage means. And so, you know, I, I Twitter to uh, Pope Francis, uh, Mr. Uh, Pope Francis, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I'm working on Catholic Church sex abuse issue, <laughs> but you know, Twitter, you cannot really write too many sentences. So that's all I can say. I'm working on Catholic Church, say, I mean, Catholic Church sex, you know, human, sex abuse issue. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And she, he hasn't called me yet, or he hasn't called me yet, but I'm still hopeful. You know, I really think that Pope Francis is a very, very nice, uh, nice person, and I respect him so much. But, you know, uh, I think in my narrative, he wants to quit. You know, uh, you know Masami, actually, you know, I had a good time already, and everybody seems to love me. So, I think this is the time I should retire because if I don't, I'm still, you know, uh, chased by United Nations that who talks about clergy sex issues. And I have to, I, again, I have to attend a UN meeting and I don't have any solution to it. So it's better for me to quit right now and then actually I want to become Pussy Riot uh, uh, bouncer. <laughs> I mean, Right? I mean, if, if he... <laughs> Actually, he used to be a bouncer, by the way. Do you, you, you know that one, right? Yeah, actually, he was. So, you know, Pope, Pope Francis wouldn't, you know, scold me at all because it was a real story. Um, this is an important painting. And I depicted uh, uh, Eve as a, a next pope. And um, this is Eve. And uh, when she was one year, one year old, she entered uh, Alamona, um, uh, let's see, Halloween costume contest. And she 
was awarded as a uh, honorable, no, honorable mention for creative division. So um, I was so proud of it. And actually, you know, um, uh, Eve's friend uh, says she wants to be next pope. I said, wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's interesting. I mean, a lot of, a lot of uh, digital culture is chain making this world, you know, attitude so open and then changing, and then we become more and more aware of, you know, human right and and then uh, free speech, and uh, this is important. So actually, um, I'd like to sort of keep on going on this um, to, oh, yeah, okay, so uh, this particular painting is also talking about the same-sex marriage, and um, at the Honolulu Museum, former uh, director, but uh, is a gay person, and then he his partner uh, is eating Adam. I mean uh, Eve. No, no, no. Well, a apple. I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm totally, totally mixed up. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry about Eve and Adam. Uh, it's, okay. So the vision is okay. What if you know? man eat apple and to see how uh, this history would, would evolve. I mean, we have seen, you know, male chauvinistic um, misogyny culture has evolved the last 2,000 uh, years. But I want to see something uh, switch over to what, what about, you know, what, what about starting Adam eat apple and then start a new new history. And that is part of the whole uh, comp I mean whole vision that I'm I'm applying through uh, clergy sex abuse issue. And um, it's pretty complicated sort of a thinking. But um, uh, the cloisters slash Arezzo converter and again, uh, the Catholic priest has to go to uh, sexuality 101 class, and then <laughs> they, 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 they have to go through all this process to become, you know, much more together uh, uh, confessors. I don't, I don't want uh, confessors to be too abusive. And um, I think next phase is that Pussy Riot, and then my friend Geisha Momotaro, are going to be my com the com new confessors. That's the whole sort of like a vision that I started thinking, and actually I have painted all this already. Oh, here's a pussy riot, and and then she's talking to Putin. Putin is pretending like a pope, and then Putin said, "Oops, you know, I was eating spaghetti, but." You are so powerful that I'm so mesmerized, and I stab myself. So that's that, that's a um, that's a Putin. I mean, Putin is really interesting guy. I mean, I think he could be a really great leader, new leader of a uh, Russian, I mean Russia, and then um, a Pope Francis, a friend of friend of a Putin. So. Hey, Putin, by the way, you know, I think you better stop talking about the same-sex same marriage. But, and then, and then the, the same-sex marriage and gay rights, don't talk about those things. I mean, the, the, this, this is just, you know, not really worth even bothering. You know, you are adult, and then I want you to think that human right and it, by the way, you have been uh, uh, losing so many Russians because, you know, all airplanes that you are losing in the air, uh, you, you have to think, you have to really take care of that issue. I said, oh, that's right, uh, Pope Francis, yeah, I'm all for the 
same-sex marriage. And <laughs> anyway, that was my narrative. So, I mean, nobody maybe agree with me, but you know, that's a narrative that um, I'm sort of a, uh, nurturing in my, my brain that as, as if it's a contemporary Japanese kabuki play. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>